Hello and welcome to this introductory video covering topics on useful tools available on Oracle Linux. After watching this video, you will learn about grep, sed, and awk, and we will look at redirecting output, input, and errors. grep stands for Global Regular Expression Print. It is a command for line editing one edit at a time. grep accepts regular expressions as an argument which is used to match. grep can be used to search and match for text and processes, file names, directories, and more. Let's first display a listing of all of the local files in our current working directory with the ls command. Let's use the cat command to take a look inside of the file my file. We use grep to search for the letter e within the file. The results show all of the lowercase instances of letter e in highlights. Now let's try searching for the number one. Two instances of the number one are highlighted. Another useful search is for whole words. Let's search for the word hello in the my file by using quotes around hello. No match was found. However, there is a hello in the first line of the file, but it has not been highlighted. So let's use the dash i option to remove case sensitivity from the search, as by default grep is case sensitive. Now the hello is returned. And let's search for the common word. The but in multiple files using the dash r option. The results show that we can also search for word strings in multiple files as well. Moving on to the sed command. Sed is a stream-oriented editor that is non-interactive and uses regular expressions for pattern matching. Input from either a file or the keyboard is directed to standard output. By default, standard output is sent to the screen but can also be directed to a file. Simply, sed interprets pattern matching, or a script, and then performs the actions listed in the script. The three primary purposes for sed are automating editing actions for one or more files, Simplifying tasks performed on multiple files. Writing conversion programs. Let's take a look at some set examples. Returning to use my file again. Let's replace any occurrence of the word world with earth. We can also replace numbers as well, using the following matching pattern and by reversing an entire number. You can also create a script for set to execute instead of editing for changes on multiple lines. Let's examine the script with the cat command before running the set command. We execute the sed command with the dash f option to tell it the name of the script file name followed by the file name my file. The values from the script have returned from my file indicating the command executed correctly. From a high level point of view, awk is used with structured data for manipulating data in one or more files. Typically, awk is written in scripts invoked by a shell wrapper or also can be called by command line. Some of the possibilities with awk are data processing, spell checking, and index processing. Similar to said, awk is stream-oriented and also uses pattern matching with the help of regular expressions. Let's now look at a few examples of awk. The first example reads the my file contents and matches the lines with a 1. Next, let's search for lines with an E and then print out the output. Awk can also read instructions from a file. Now we will use a file called contacts, but first let's view its contents with the cat command. We use the cat command to view the awk underscore script before running it. The script searches for the letters day bc to match in the contacts file. We use the awk command and the dash f option with the file name called contacts. After running the awk command, the first field with matching letters day b and c in the file contacts is matched and then sent to the output screen. Linux commands have the power to redirect input and output using specific characters. To redirect an output to another command, we use the pipe. For example, redirecting a listing of files recursively to more using a pipe. This creates a paging effect allowing you to page through the output by pressing the space bar. To cancel, hit Q. Another type of redirection is the greater than character. You can redirect text meant for a terminal screen to a file using the echo command and then the greater than character. Here we use the cat command to verify the contents of the new file called my file 2. Alternatively, the less than character can be used to read data from a file. In this case, the contents of my file 2 are read and redirected to the wc command. The dash m option counts the number of characters read. In this example, 13 characters are in the my file 2 file. Error redirection can be used if an error is detected after running a command. Using the find command, let's search in all directories for files containing the word print. 
As you can see, some of the files returned are not permitted because of access rights. Therefore, by using the two greater than characters, any permission denied output is sent to slash dev slash null, a place to discard output with no return output. Instead of slash dev slash null, we can send error messages to a file called find underscore errors to be checked later. And we see only the permission denied messages were sent to this file. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.